All right, here we go, guys. It's grand finals. We got, we're starting off with a Lucina ditto. Scubs did not play much Lucina in winner's finals, if any at all, and it did cost him the set. The first set Saskatchewan has ever taken off him in this game. But BZ riding some momentum. Uh, ready to see what he can do. However, Cole, in that intense last set, has got to be feeling some pressure. Ooh, and a quick F smash from uh, from Scubs is going to take that first stock. There's not a much percent on him, and BZ is going to need a nice little string to keep this, keep this competitive. Back are gonna quickly take it without much advantage. Nice and quick percent for BZ. Carter's gotta get down from that platform. And he does successfully. And that F smash quickly gonna tie up this game. Any tiny little piece of advantage is really going to mean everything. For example, that downer. <laughs> now it's about how Cole can manage this stock before he loses it. It's going to dictate. Despite what the heroes and villains uh, are in this match, I think everyone was very happy to see BZ take a set finally off of uh, off of Scubs. That's that's big for all of Saskatchewan. You know, and that F smash is going to put this uh, game at one stock apiece. But BZ's got some percent. He's going to need a nice string and two up tilts is a nice way to start it. Cole can't quite get the ledge trap, but he's going to keep Carter in a state of disadvantage. Carter's weaving around that edge guard. He needs to get back to the middle of the stage, and that, ooh, and that, that smash was greedy by Cole, but it he ends up not getting too punished. Oh, and that back air is going to take game one. FD is going to be the next stage you're going to go to. Um, I think that game was a lot about Cole keeping advantage the entire, entire game and really not letting not letting BZ uh, ever take control. And BZ did say that if he got rocked, he was going to go gonna go wolf. I wouldn't really call that him getting wiped, but I do appreciate this counter pick to change it up a little bit. I know this certainly works very well for Carter in doubles against this Lucina. So I'm excited to see what's going to happen. And instantly, BZ takes a good amount of advantage. He's keeping a Lucina out. Interesting. He's getting in. Hard being very, very patient, which is important in this matchup. And a little flub there. Uh, Cole capitalizes on the first stock. That down smash will quickly, quickly get rid of Cole's first stock. Just shows the end of the day. Spam if you want to win. <laughs> Alright, that's a very good parry. It's going to pay off. Kalen's in the back here and he loves this wolf. He loves this wolf. Carter's going to keep as much stage control as he can there. Now he's the one keeping Cole in a state of disadvantage. Carter could easily take the stock here with a one back air. Or an F smash. Going to take that. Carter's at a pretty low percent, so if he can keep Cole out for a few, uh, for a few uh, moments here while gaining a little bit of percentage of his own, this could really make the difference and uh, put game two in BZ's favor. There we go. There's the dash attack. F tilt. Ledge trap doesn't quite work out there. And that fair gonna take stock too. Wow, wow. 
BZ did get a little bit of uh, percent there. And with all of these parries, these immaculate parries, it's really hard for Cole to play offensively on, on Carter's shield. Very close, one one back air, down smash, anything could take this, but an edge guard could really turn this around. Ooh, and that's a good air dodge by DZ. Ooh, that up tilt could have taken it. He's gotta get out, out of the corner here. And advancing that up tilt will take game two for BZ. <coughs> well, no fair, it's been real. Classic Saskatoon arguing about Fuddruckers in the middle of a grand final set. Wow. Here we go, game three. BZ has switched back to the Lucina. That wolf was just a little bit of flavor. Flavor of the grand final set, you know, a little, a little spice you needed. Something to throw Cole's confidence off, stall that momentum. I really like that. Nice wait, but it doesn't quite pay off. They're just going hit for hit, nickel and diming each other. Constantly going back and forth, not letting anyone capitalize on an opportunity. Two top players who have played each other so, so many times. Just working and working for each single hit. I know for a fact that Carter's a huge fan of Smashville. I don't know how Cole reacts to this stage, but we do know that he usually wins. Ooh. And BZ will punish. See if he can take that first stock right here. No, not quite. But Cole's got some rage. F Smash will definitely take it here. Especially on that side of the stage. BZ makes it back. Doesn't go for an edge guard. See what he can do for a ledge trap here. And that fair will take first stock. Alrighty, thank you, Benham. I appreciate it. <laughs> Alright, let's see. BZ instantly taking a big state of advantage. Cole is going to make it back, but Carter maintains some stage control. But Cole is pushing and pushing. Let's see, they're, they're both making it back, but Carter is really keeping on that offensive the whole time and not letting Cole breathe. On Cole, going to go a little bit too far on an SD. Carter still on his third stock at 144%. Let's see if he can capitalize on that string. That up air not going to do it. But BZ is going to make it back to stage. That back air will take stock one. BZ's got a lot of room to work with here. Now it's time, his turn to play patient. There you go. Cole having to play a very, very defensive game here. And that S smash, beautiful roll read. Uh, BZ goes for a big downer. He's up the stock, I understand. Oh, and another F smash. Not going to take it quite yet, but Cole using air dodge. Good tech by BZ. Great recovery. Wow, wow. Cole's got some control here. He's got to grab. See if he can capitalize. But BZ plays a very offensive role. Straight out of hit stun. And that F tilt almost taking it. He didn't get the spikes. He can get the ledge trap. Not quite. Oh, but that up be very, very smart. Almost taking it. 164% on Cole. And that fair will take game three in favor of BZ. You'll never beat me. 
Uh, Paul, I'm sorry to inform you that BZ might have snapped. <laughs> Going into game four, Cole seems like he wants to go battlefield. Almost everyone in the venue seems to be wrapping up and gathering around this set. Cole seems to be attempting a color counter pick. We will uh, we'll have to see how this game four goes. See if BZ can maintain this advantage and takes uh, take uh, the set without even having to go to a second one. BZ looking fairly confident between games here. Taking the time to think about what he needs to do and just relax. He played very, very aggressive that third game, and I think it really paid off. He takes a quick stand and a sit down. All right, here we go. Beginning of game four, Battlefield. Instantly, Cold goes. They go for the same option. Carter gets punished. It looks like Beezy's already in a nice state of advantage. Cold looks like he's going to take his turn to play in that aggressive game. Carter gets down from the platform very easily. You do see Cole getting a lot more grabs though in this set. Uh, Carter definitely believes that Lucina does not have much off of a grab after 40%, so he doesn't really go for them much. And another F smash from Cole. It's gonna make it hard for uh, for Carter to maintain it. They do a lot of damage, not just knockback, baby. Oh, that's a uh, thank you, chat, for all that RGF love. We love RGF over here. We got RGF commentators, RGF grand finalists, RGF chat. <laughs> We love all y'all. And that up area is going to take stock one. BZ's going to need to go on a nice little string here to make sure this game stays even and Cole doesn't run away with any kind of big lead. He gets out of that dancing blade. Ooh. He went for a for a hard roll read. Does, does not pay off. It's 2-1 uh, for Carter. Cole. Cole won game one, and then Carter went wolf and won that game, and then in the Zena Ditto, he won game three. Okay, yeah. Dylan didn't want to talk to me anymore, so he pretended like he was on the phone. Uh, it was kind of grimy, but uh, we'll, we'll clip it. While I was gone, it looks like Cole has racked up quite a bit of percent on Carter's second stock. Carter needs to take the stock right now and before he, uh, he loses his own, if he wants to keep this game... Uh, Real. Oh, and that up B will take it. Carter needs to do something real now to keep this keep this fair. Alright, Carter's deep down off stage. But he's gonna make it back and avoid the ledge trap. Carter trying to gain some footing here. But gets knocked off with another F tilt. Every hit puts him off stage and that fair is gonna take it. Now he's down to his last stock and Cole's only at 30 on a second. Carter misses attack, pretty rare, but doesn't happen. Oh, and there, there's a shield break. He, he won't die because he's at 30. Oh, and a counter out of panic there. Doesn't pay off, but uh, does not get nearly as much as he might have wanted to off that uh, shield break. Carter's playing in quite a state of advantage, but gets uh, gets pushed off the ledge trap. Oh, and that deep, deep back air is gonna gonna make this a very, very even game. Let's we'll see, let's we'll see what Beezy can do to uh, close the gap a little bit here. And Cole thinking about going off stage himself, but instead just decides to go for the ledge trap. Pays off, he gets the back air off the jump. He rolls and gets another grab. Cole is deciding not to go deep because these ledge traps are really, really working for him. Oh! A big counter, a bold move. This could be a shift in momentum for Carter. He's definitely in his head. Oh, he really wanted that edge guard. They both make it back, however. And it looks like Carter is going to be pushed off, and that back air will take game four. Everything's so, so incredibly close between these players. Hit for hit, everything. Cole did manage to get uh, quite a bit of a, a run there in the second stock, but other than that, uh, you know, not much. Quex, thank you so much for taking my side on that one. I agree. Let's, uh, let's cancel Dylan.
nearly everyone in the venue except for maybe North Battleford has decided to come and watch Grand Finals Classic, am I right? <laughs> Cole is leaving for water again. This could be a tactic to, to ice him out a little bit. Carter really taking some time to think about that game. It really could have gone either way, but when Cole got that lead, he's just incredibly uh, good at keeping that advantage state and, uh, you know, not letting Carter overtake him and take that lead. Just, uh, just commentating. I'm now joined by uh, Egg, Egg Lunare. Hello. It's game five. Come on. Genuine look in your face. It's game five, bro. It's my homie out there. It is my homie out there. I'm talking with Paul. What the fuck? Paul, Eddie, Luke Benham, they're all here. Yes, yes. Blue or black? This is why you don't touch him because he'll stop because he loses he flips his whole fucking He'll cry about it. Yeah, he'll flip his whole fucking in moderation, bro. <laughs> moderation! <laughs> Alrighty, here we go, game five. This seems to be very, very intense. Actually, actually, Cole went out to get some water, uh, but I think uh, I think it was good to stall that momentum. I think that's just something Cole needed to do. But it was a lucky break for Carter. Uh, let's see if BZ can get a ledge trap here. No, he goes for a, a, a bit of a silly fair on a jump read and gets punished. Oh, and that fair was very nice, waiting very nicely, and that footstool is gonna take stock one. That's big. He needs. Uh, BZ definitely needs momentum if he wants to take the set, and it it really looks like uh, he's he's uh, doing well here, running a, running away. There's more F tilts, just throwing him out like it's uh, like it's candy on Halloween, brother. You know how it is. There we go. Carter avoiding the ledge trap and goes for a really silly counter, thinking that maybe he might go for a, for an F tilt after the F smash. Did not pay off for Carter. However, he is racking up quite a lot of percentage on this stock before he loses his own. It's gonna be big. Let's see if Cole does anything on this ledge trap. Ooh. And that fair. Cole being so intuitive, even though the camera wasn't there, he he ran for it and uh, swiped at him. <laughs> Let's see if Carter can do anything about this. He is gonna get that fair. He's at a very low percent, so stuff isn't doing much knockback. However, Cole's got a lead trap situation here, and he gets up with an F tilt. See if he can do another. Nope. Cardi gets his shield up in time. Ooh, and that F smash. Gonna take it. Five on one boy from Regina says Paul. Who likes Cole? Paul's got five on Carter. Ooh. Goes for something a little bit sassy there. That down air F smash is gonna put him in quite a good situation though. Carter is too smart, you're right. BZ not gonna get the ledge trap, but this still looks to be in a great position of advantage for Carter. He's not gonna get the edge guard. Oh, he is! And that game five is going to go to Carter, the first Smash Katuna Ultimate, or the Ultimate Smash Katuna tournament ever taken off of Cole. Congratulations to BZ. Great tournament, everybody. GG's everyone, time to go clean up.